Morning, traders. Uh, I'm still a little sick, so if I cough during this thing, please bear with me. Uh, if you follow the steps so far, you should see a screen that looks something like this. Um, I'm just going to do a simple three-step one. Uh, let's see. So it says question title, what you want to fill in there. And for this one, I am going to put... And my typing sucks, too, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to put ITM, OTM. I'm going to leave it multiple choice. Come down here, mark this ITM. Click here to add another one, just like it says. And I'm going to put OTM. Click on done. So now you get a nice little, you can click ITM, OTM. I'm going to click add item. The next one I'm going to put is reason for trade. And instead of it being a text, I'm going to do a paragraph because sometimes you might want to type in a lengthy little bit in there. And we'll go ahead and click on done. The last one, and again, this is just a simple one. You can put whatever you want in here. You can put the amount of the trade, your balance, if you want to keep it running. But I'm going to keep it simple so we don't get a long video and you can bust through this and set it up however you like. The next one we do is add item one more time. And on this one, I'm going to put link to trade. And I'll just leave this a text box and we will click on done. So we got ITM, OTM, reason for trade, and link to trade. Pretty simple, easy to do. The next thing we want to do, go up to the top and it says choose response destination. Let's click that and put new spreadsheet. We don't want to put always create, just exactly like it looks right here and just hit create. What this will do is anytime you fill out the form, it's going to dump all this into a spreadsheet for you. So let's go ahead now that it's nice, easy, set up. Let's take a look at the form. You go up here to view live form really easy. So let's go ahead and fill it out and see what happens when you fill it out. So let's say this was an ITM. Reason for trade was, I don't know, BB bands breached, MACD crossed, and God told me to take it. Now link to trade. What exactly is that? Let me go to my MT4 real quick and I'll show you what I do to get these. Here's my MT4. You right click anywhere on the chart. Go to save as picture. Make sure it says active chart as is. Nothing else. And you have a check mark there. Post image in online blah blah blah. Click on OK. What's going to happen next is your browser will pop up. Here's my chart. Go up to the top. Copy that address. And let's go back to my trading journal. I copy and paste it in there. Might not fit, but if you want to put it paragraph so it looks bigger, you can. Now let's go ahead and hit submit. My trading journal, your response has been recorded. Typically what I do is I take my trade, I jump to my journal. I don't mark ITM, OTM. I just fill in the reason so it's fresh in my mind why I took it. Once the trade's over, I mark it ITM, OTM. And then I create my link and paste it. So what did we do? Let's go to my trading journal again. And let's go to view responses. So what we get is a timestamp. It was ITM. We have the reason. And we have the link. So if we click on that link, up comes the trade. You just created yourself a nice, simple, easy to use trade journal. Again, how do we get to it? From your email, you go to Drive. From Drive, it's My Trading Journal, and these are the journal responses. So, My Trading Journal, there it is. And you can always just click on View Responses from here. Something easy to do, set up. I like to review my trades at the end of the day, so I try and keep a journal. What I had a problem with is just the journal by itself was linking the two together to be able to see the trades. I like to see the trades, so this is a nice, easy way to do it. You can add in whatever you want. If you have any problems setting it up, just hit me up. I'll be more than glad to answer any questions about it, and you all have a great day.